Okay, if you are getting lots of loopy thread on the bottom of your fabric, okay, and the bobbin case is winning the tug of war, because tension is just a tug of war between your upper tension and your bobbin tension, and, and neither one should really win, unless you're an embroidery, then it, the bottom wins a little bit, but it should never be pulled to the bottom of the fabric. If it is, that means something's wrong with your upper tension. It's not able to pull it back and balance it out. Typically, that means there's something caught in your upper tension and keeping those discs apart so they can't squeeze on the thread. So, that's what was the problem with this machine. They were saying their tension was off and all the thread was sitting on the bottom and it wasn't being pu pulled tightly into the fabric. So the way to solve that is just take the screw out of here. And this is on a brother or baby lock machine. But um, this, is, this is true for any sewing machine. Um, baby lock and brother just have an easy way of getting to the upper tension. Some, some other manufacturers, it's, it's quite difficult and you have to take it to a technician. But if you have a cover like this on your machine that you can take off and see the upper tension unit like this, you will notice that we have thread caught in the entry point and in the tension itself. So, let's see, there we go. So, we've got several colors of thread here that have gotten themselves caught, and this will. This will cause all kinds of problems. As you can see right here, that thread, and there's a bunch of it in there. That thread will keep these discs from closing. So essentially, there is no upper tension in this machine. So I just have to pull out all this thread, um, raise the presser foot and keep these discs open and kind of take a brush and clean out any debris and built up lint residue and stuff like that to essentially polish the inside of these discs then it will allow the thread to be squeezed by these discs and you will have good tension again now you might need a little tiny adjustment to get it perfectly balanced after this but for the most part you can plainly see what the problem is so i hope that helps Till next time.